Okay, so here we are with a an adaptation of the reformer. So I thought, look, there's gonna be a different way of being able to use your abs, because when you're doing the hundreds, you're curling forward, and everything's more of a contraction of the way forward, but I've combined a plank with the reformer. So what I've done is I've adapted a board up at this end over here. The board doesn't move in any direction at all. It sits on the edges here. It's got some stoppers underneath to stop it sliding around, and it's hooked up over the end over here of this reformer. And then what we do is we put a couple of springs on. So in this case, I put on two light springs um, because believe me, this actually works quite well. Um, you then get your knees onto here. So your feet are hooked over the edge. Um, there's a rubber mat over here to protect your knees and you can have more padding underneath if you want. Draw the reformer back towards you. Place your elbows just in front of the shoulder pads and you lengthen up because the carriage will be pulled that way by the springs and then you tuck to come back. So you're breathing in and a tuck to come back. The further forward you take your elbows, the harder it's going to be because you can go further forward. See, the good thing about this is it's not going to stress your back because of the fact that you're actually being pulled forward rather than dipping your back underneath. If you do just a bit of a tuck, lift your backside up and then draw your elbows towards your knees. So this is a breath out. A breath in to protect your back, you're still squeezing your core from the sides and pulling up your beeline, which is our version of drawing your abs in. And then breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. So something a bit different. You can also do this with your knees sideways, so you can actually work more into your obliques as well. So just really, really get into those obliques. And obviously the... You can do this with absolutely no springs at all as well. So even with no springs, it works quite well because when you're extending forward, you actually feel like you've got to control it. So otherwise it'll slide away from you and then you've got to tuck to come back, making sure you tuck on the way back. Very, very simple setup that you can do on any reformer. So give it a go. It works exceptionally well for the abs, just a different version of ab work.